It's Halloween, guys! All right, hello, everyone. Welcome to the very first video dot gamer podcast we are here today joined by the base gods which is including brady tyler and me buddha could not make it today but he was scheduled to be here and he is not here big rip moment of silence for buddha all right thank you wait. anyways <laughs> <laughs> wait um but anyways we have a couple of topics to talk about today. The going off my notes, the outlines looking like to be stuff about Overwatch, Destiny, and maybe Halo if we get to it. Um, but uh, I can go Halo if you want to. Yeah. Um. So, um, to start out, uh, let's uh, let's actually start out with uh, how we met each other, because I don't think that's ever said anywhere Brady, do you do you remember how did how how we met i know how you and i met but to my knowledge you from what i remember is you think from how i remember it is completely different from how you remember yes i i that is true i remember how we met it was like in halo 3 and halo 3 and uh we met in a custom game yep and uh i think it was through otis or something how i remember it yes it was through otis uh i don't know exactly what happened but i don't know if he just randomly invited me or if i was just but yeah it was <laughs> you were with us speaking of otis he just messaged me that in just a second um but yeah no i don't know if you two are already together but yeah no i met you through otis or our good, our good pal otis hopefully otis will be here eventually yeah uh, but yeah, no, I joined a custom game. I remember the map. I don't know the name of the map. It's the one with the beach and the fortress at the top of the beach. Uh, high ground. High ground, okay. Well, I remember us, I remember joining up on high ground. Otis left after a little bit. And then you, I don't know, I think you asked me to go help a machinima with a machinima, and I was like, okay, dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, well, uh, so we kind of fucked around on Halo from that point yeah, I was That's like, how I remember it at least. I remember it pretty much the same. I, I think it was like the different game. I think I remember it with a different game type. I think it was like, um, the one where you would go on a warhog or a mongoose around that circle. The game type was called Halo, and there's a sniper in the middle, and it was infection. And oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember meeting Otis through that. And then, uh, which is wild because back in the day, uh, you wouldn't like, there were so many people in that lobby and to end up with Otis was just by chance and to end up with you was by bigger chance. And we didn't, we didn't live that far from each other. So eventually we did meet up with each other, uh, at some point. Many years later. Yeah. I mean, like. That was like middle at, school. At least, yeah. So we met in middle school. And, um, yeah, it was, it was just like really by, by chance. Crazy, a crazy chance at that. Like, right. Uh, thinking about it is like, it shouldn't have happened. Yeah, like um, you said, let's say you were a big Halo person. You you probably met hundreds a day, yeah. almost damn near, for how populated Halo was back then. Yeah, I just like, go from custom game to custom game. Going from Jenga to Ghostbusters oh, so to Predator, uh, all the crazy Halo custom games, and I'm hoping Halo Infinite has the same type of life. That Halo 3 had. Well, um, here's the cool thing. We at least have like a decent sized group of people to kind of fuck around in custom games. Yeah. The once I'm 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 very sure once Forge happens and I make some maps, make some game types. Uh 
we'll have some fun on Halo custom games. But um, anyways, uh, enough about 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 how you and me met. Oh, you right. and I. Now, how do you meet Tyler, the man of the hour? Um, Tony's not gonna know the answer to this one. I don't remember how I, I met Tyler. I really, I really don't have a good answer of how we met. All, all I can say is friends with Quentin. Which yeah. We'll we'll talk about this in a later story. Some shit happened. Uh, some really stupid shit, and yeah, we're no longer friends and all that. But yeah, all I can say is I only know you through him. Yeah, that's that's the same thing here. Like I only know Tyler. Uh, and just like the really part. sus part was, Quentin tried to like get us. At least me, he tried to get us to hate you or like dislike you for the most part. And I'm just like, okay, I guess so. And then the more and more I played with you, I'm like, what? Well, I was like, why does he not like him? Like this dude's cool as fuck. Yeah, I thought Tyler was really cool. But then it's also one of those things where it's like, oh, it's that brother bickering. That... Yeah, the brothery br- bickering that we talk about. Um, oh my gosh. But all in all, yeah, all I can say is I, I met Tyler through, through Quentin. I think we started like playing Call of Duty one day. Yes, I, I, all I can say is one day we might have probably played some Call of Duty. What, it might have been Destiny at that. I don't know. No, Destiny was later on. Destiny was a well. I think that's where that's where you and I like really started to kick off. Yeah, and, like just play together. And then, as far as Tony, yeah, yeah, I've yeah, known Tony because he's been at the house several times because of Quentin. Yeah. Then Buddha, I had the privilege of being uh, his commander in ROTC in JROTC. Oh, what, what the <laughs> fuck? No, you have what? you have to tell me about that. That's you can't wild. just say that and just leave it at that. What? <laughs> we never that's knew funny. about that. Yeah, what that? What? I don't, I don't remember what his rank was. You can't drop that big of a bombshell <laughs> on, the po- on the first episode of the podcast oh, yeah. without oh, anyone without it. anyone knowing. Like no one knew. What? <laughs> like told him to give us some Buddhist prayers while we we're doing competitions. I've always picked on him for uh, the nickname Buddha. Buddha. I want to talk about meeting Buddha. But I, I'd like him to be here. But I mean, since you I said do this, would like him Buddha. to be here, um, right? Uh, no, no, the same way I met Buddha is the same way I met Tyler. I, I want to say through Quentin, but the first time I met Buddha, I was with Otis, which was weird, actually. I don't remember when I met Buddha. I can't remember exactly when I met Buddha. Actually, what would be, be really, really technical? I met Buddha through Snapchat. Because Brad gave him my Snapchat back in the day. And Buddha was just super annoying on Snapchat. I'm like, I don't know who this kid is. And he's sending me videos hella zoomed into his face. You know, baby Buddha. <laughs> he's hella zoomed in and just screaming at the fucking camera. I'm like, I, who is this guy? So I eventually blocked him on Snapchat. And yeah, year, years later down the line... Uh, I I met up with him at our amusement park, Kings Island. I I met him there with Otis and Ryan. Um, yeah, I I still I I don't remember exactly when I met him. Uh, I was probably in middle school because I met him. Yeah, so that's how we all kind of met each other for the most part. Um, there's other people in the base gods that uh i don't know like are still around and just not very prominent as others but uh and it, it's still like a weird spot because we still don't know if we want to call ourselves the base gods either it's really a uh, a weird spot with that but uh yeah let's that's, go that's, why, that's, that's where i don't know i feel like this we're, we're the video dot game know what i mean like yeah we, we don't we're not co- fully committed to like a single game type deal yeah we 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 play whatever interests us yeah like that's why like i don't want to be 
you know, like solely branded, but like whereas if we're video dot gamers, you get the gist of we play video games, right? And that's Don't as worry. simple as it is. All right, let's get into our first video game topic for today. Uh, Overwatch. So Overwatch. So um, Overwatch uh, before, is. Oh, before we dive into to what's happened. I want to hear about the Overwatch careers. I know there's not much except for me here. But I feel like if we're going to talk about it, Lilith's... How, how do we remember the first game? Well, and all that. Like, what do do we have any backgrounds in Overwatch? Uh, not, not really. I mean, I played with Cameron maybe here and there. And played with you here and there in Overwatch 1. I never really was committed in Overwatch because the whole hero thing was really intimidating for me. And all the roles that are in Overwatch and how each character plays. It's kind of like how it's like going to a new Smash Brothers character. You got to figure out how their controls and everything. But I feel like Overwatch has ramped that up to 11. Overall, it's just a lot harder to start playing a new character. Uh, and trying to get them down yeah i just i don't know i i don't really much have a background for overwatch here and there when it first came out and i ended up getting it on my game on my account but i didn't really have anybody to play with so i played for like an hour and then at that point again nobody to play with so ended up just sitting there yeah just not really not really much of an Overwatch fan. I mean, I'm getting into it recently because the game just came out and I'm dabbling into it. Uh, right. It's fun, you know, but it it's really hard. It, I've always liked it. It's just you always need that team. If you don't have that team, you're just going to mm-hmm. struggle and not enjoy it. Yeah, Even no, just no, it's three, te- three members in a team, it's rough because you'll have that fourth or f- Fifth random that doesn't have a clue what they're doing. Yeah, you know, and as Tony said, um, with the with the characters and all that, and the specific roles, because as I was explaining in one of our earlier streams today, as we were playing, you, you kind of like the maps can differentiate for what characters could be could be more viable and better, and certain characters counter other characters. And with us, you guys both being semi new to the game, and as Tony said, the game's already hard as it. Like you, you don't think about, you don't think about that type of stuff. It's like yeah. it's it's really it, it's a, it's a lot to take in, and there's already a lot going on in the game. I just gotta get better at playing support. Like it, it's it's. I'm decent as far as tank and like, again. As like, it's support, it's got me just. It's every time I play support. I start getting too aggressive because our probably DPS is not doing side anything. Note, I mean, right. I mean, side note, just try Baptiste because I know you kind of like Soldier and Baptiste has a burst weapon, but side, uh, just side note. But yeah, no, it, it's a hard game. It, it's a lot to take in and it's hard to like figure out maps and then you got to figure out what characters go with what maps in a sense and like who plays better with whom. Soldier is just like so you gotta versatile. Fight, you got to find every the map composition. Almost. It's you have that range. As long as you're hitting your headshots, he just melts everybody. He's got that tri burst that, as soon as you need a reload, you pull that tri burst and it finishes most people off. Tri burst, bro. You mean the rockets? <laughs> yep, that tri burst rocket. If you're getting low and you don't have a healer around, you can heal yourself temporarily. It's like he's just versatile. It's when you start getting ganked, you're getting ganked is the only issue with him. That's just, that's anybody. But, but in, into the meat and the potatoes. Yeah. Overwatch 2, week one was this week. Dog shit. Well, oh we're, we're still in the week. We're still yeah. in the week. It started it on the 4th. Tuesday. Started the fourth. It dropped, it's only the eighth. Drop Tuesday the fourth. It is that. It is the eighth. Dog shit game. <laughs> um, I wouldn't call I it dog shit. That. 
Um, to get an achievement, they got, and disconnect they, you. They were they they got DDoSed the first two days allegedly. Yeah, they, yeah, they did. The, the yeah. like no one could play the game. Too many the, people tried getting on. Three, they get DDoSed. Three they hour have dedicated cons? servers. Facts. They though, just facts. didn't have enough dedicated servers. No, I think especially with the DDoS attack, who like some some person was really salty that. They're shutting down Overwatch 1 and everything that went on with Activision and Blizzard and uh, they just thought that it was just awful. They said time to shine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like. Even then, it you get disconnected over every little thing. And then yeah, so yeah. there's still disconnects happening. But again, it's, and it's, it's not just Xbox week, either. either way. Yeah, it's just uh, the disconnects, the uh, the whole tank, a whole entire tank getting removed from the game. Right. Yeah, a whole a whole teammates just dropped. It goes from six v six to five v. I kind of like the five v five though instead of the six v six. I feel uh, like I've not determined yet, but I have. I haven't I played. I feel like six v six made it a whole ever. lot longer of a match in a sense. Whereas now with five people, you've got the one tank, and that if that tank gets killed, it makes it or breaks it right there. Yeah, Actually. I don't know. Uh, just overall, just like Overwatch is just in a very weird state to play in. Um, it it just literally is Overwatch. Not one. to mention, you cannot play unless you have a valid phone number. Not too yeah. much that. Yeah, I like... I like it, but at the same time, the, the only issue that I've actually seen they have of it is the fact that people with the same phone plan. So let's say me yeah, and Tony like were on the, the phone same phone plan. plan, only one of us would have been able to play. Uh huh. See, that's, that's the part that's, that's so messed stupid. Up. That is yeah, the that, dumbest they thing. They messed up that. That's why they actually removed that requirement people right now. People with pre played phone plans where it's like, hey, you have this phone for. Type shit or this specific number, so yeah. like shit like that. Yep it it works, but at the same time, they need to go more in depth and figure out how to get it to work. Um, I think it's pretty scummy to even have something like that to anti Smurf and anti. Right. Like, like I understand, like, I understand the problem, if there's a like... cheater and they're hacking the game and you ban their account. And you have their phone number on file, and they try to use the same phone number to, to get into the game and stop them that way. Like, I can understand if the person is cheating. But if there's some person that's just like, hey, you know, I play with a competitive group, and so I use this account. This is my competitive account. And if I wanted to play with a casual group, like, let's say, let's say Brady is playing with. Uh, Bugsy and um, he they're all competitive they're in rank they're trying to go for whatever the rank the highest rank is so you have one account for playing competitive and you have another account for playing casual so you don't ruin your stats or whatever I think anti anti smurfing is pretty disgusting um, in that aspect it's just it's just a gross gross disgusting i i can't even fathom why they even decided to put in this type of feature and now that there's articles coming out saying modern warfare 2 2022 is going to follow the same suit that's just unacceptable there's no i can agree with it because if you got to think about it let's say you want to go competitive you're getting shit on, pure shit on guys that are at top of the list, but they didn't want to play on their ranked profiles. It's true. Yeah, that's, that's where that's smurfing true. comes in. That's where smurfing comes in. It's completely unfair to the player base. You're going to get shit on by top players because they don't want to play their top accounts. Oh, well, that's, that's why there's not even that. Not even that's that. Why there's like, yeah, it's like there's different lobbies. You got. Quick play, competitive. You want to play casual? You got a quick play. 
You want to play competitive? You go to the competitive. One of the one of the things that I found out recently is that there is a insane esports team for Rocket League, and they were talking about smurfing at the student lounge at uh, the university here. And um, I'm like, you guys are actually like playing Rocket League competitive. Like I haven't, I haven't even heard of that. And they're like, yeah, it's like one of the most competitive things out. And I'm like, what yeah. about the CDL, HCS, Overwatch League? Like it's as big. It's it's pretty. It's, it's, it's probably about as big as that. It's pretty big, but at the same time, it's not somebody much. Just where we're, paid attention we're, we're not in that, we're not in that crowd like, that's a right. completely different esport like everything that you just named off is at least an fps right that's a completely it, different rocket league just comes down to that player base it's got a that's massive every... player base but it's you don't hear out of much of it outside of that player base right like i i because they were like, you should join the Rocket League team. And I'm like, absolutely not. I'm not. I'm not good at Rocket League. I don't like Rocket League. Um, you know, if you're going to do a Halo team, I might try out and get absolutely dusted on. But, uh, yeah. Other speaking than, speaking other, of that, it's like, if you're talking about Halo... A lot of the times, Destiny could be brought up. Or talking about Destiny, Halo could be brought up. If you're talking about Call of Duty, Battlefield can get brought up. It's literally the player base has its own like unique competition against right. each other. What's Rocket League's competition? Yeah, I don't it, think there's any game like Rocket League. Rocket League is its literal only thing. That's player base. You won't hear about it in any other game. Just Rocket League. Yeah, it's either four people or they steer completely away from it. Um, but yeah, like I the whole like getting into esports and the smurfing and like I just don't going back to the phone thing. I just don't understand uh why they would lock so many people out with this feature. I just I just find it scummy and they shouldn't have it in the first place. Yeah, they temporarily got rid of it, but once they get the bugs worked out and it's actually allowing everybody in, they're gonna re implement it. It it's a good idea because it once a cheater is banned, they are banned. They're not gonna go out there and get another console or whatever if they're hardware banned and it's completely removing the chance of somebody coming back yeah which is what call of duty's issue has been you have people getting banned 20 30 times and they're still coming back true you want to blame a developer for what they're doing to counteract what scummy players are doing right it's the scummy players are forcing the developers to do stuff that even the developers don't want to do like they're going to lose more players because you got so many cheaters in lobbies that you can't even naturally play the game without running into cheaters. I've seen it's a like, lot of like Facebook clips of people going like, "Okay, I'm spectating this guy, and look what he's doing." And it just he goes, the hacker goes to win the game. And there's been games where me and Brady were playing, people so far away, not even missing a single bullet. Like they're just magnetic bulleting you. Yeah. And they're using a gun that has so much recoil that they should not be hitting like that. It's like uh, Fortnite. Fortnite implemented a system that you cannot use a Cronus. If they detect a Cronus, they will shut your game down until you unplug it and restart. If you refuse, then they ban you. I didn't even notice that. I haven't heard of that. Yeah, if you start up Fortnite, it gives you a message. I wonder how that worked. Because in whenever you're plugging something in, we're getting off topic here. We're, we're talking about Overwatch. We're we're completely off. <laughs> we're still technically talking about it. We're talking about the phones and like mm -hmm. how they're stopping cheaters. You're talking about Fortnite. 
I'm saying it's one of the things they're doing. Like Fortnite's had to come in and we're not worried about Fortnite. We're worried about Overwatch. Something. Go back to Overwatch. We don't give a fuck about Fortnite right now. We're we're on Overwatch. Oh, yeah, I was no. just phone, saying this if, stuff if that you don't have a phone number, you can't play Overwatch. It's, it's simple enough. Yeah, he's like, you can't, yeah, like, what are you gonna do if you don't have a phone? You can't play Overwatch. It's just like you, you're just shit out of luck. Like, hey Bro, man, yeah. I, 2022. If you don't have a phone, there's I'm a problem. A, I'm like a ten year old kid that well, ten year old ten year old kid shouldn't be I'm a thirteen year old on this rated T game. I am allowed to play this free to play game, and oh, yeah. my my mom, my no, dad. No, 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 no. Put your phone number in. Put, put your phone number in, kid. My mom. My dad did not give me cell phone, and now I can't play over waifu. What the fuck? I can't be Tracer, oh. and... No Tracer here. No Tracer here. No, no Genji. No nothing. Just straight can't play the video game. There's no phone, because parents said no phone. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, but... It being week one, there's a lot of issues. I think there is correct. a lot of issues. If you didn't play the previous game, you don't have all the characters. You're shit out of luck. Yeah, you have to oh, play yeah, over a uh, hundred. <laughs> if you did not play the pre previous game, you have to play over a hundred and sixty games to unlock all the characters. Unlock all the characters. Or and you spend fifty the, bucks and, and, and get the, uh, the all the characters off the bat. Free yeah. game. They need their monies. They do. It's stupid. It's and not everyone fair. is mad that the new characters are going to be locked behind a battle pass. They're pissed. That you can either get at level 1 if you buy the battle pass, or level 55 if you don't. So, grow up, motherfuckers. It's You're a playing free the game. game they you gotta, get it for free. It's, 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 it's a free game. You got, they gotta understand that they gotta make And you can't even be mad. It's a new character. I, I don't doubt that it'll be locked behind a $10 wall. Boy, shut that mouth. At minimum. <laughs> you guys said some shit that that could be controversial. Saying what? saying that there's shit out of luck. It's a hot topic right now. A hot topic. They are shit out of luck. It's play the game. I mean, like you want to complain wanna be, that I mean, like, you don't have characters a, to play the game. It's a DLC character, and if you can't unlock that DLC character in that season. Sounds like a. Yeah, it pretty much comes down to how would have you got that character in uh, Overwatch One? It'd have been straight up free. But uh, like, how would you have gone about getting it? You way uh, you wouldn't have got it. it would have you would have lost? You would have been right there. Play the game. So what you got to do is just play the damn game. Insane. Absolutely. I insane. I see the character. So I can understand why they're asking for at minimum ten dollars. Because she in most sucks games, anyway. She's terrible. <laughs> right. She's, she's got no other user. I don't think I don't think she's that good right now. She's I've had my fun with her. Don't get me wrong. But I've not. Yeah, I don't know. I the don't fact think that she, they I don't think banned her. Yeah, the fact that they banned her on a ranked right now. It, there's something going on with her. Somebody figured out how to make her ridiculous or something. There's yeah, no way they just really... banned her when she sucks so badly. There's probably something wrong that we're just unaware of. But is, did we get anything on Overwatch? Was, was that about the I phones? think that's about it. Uh, the phone thing, the launch, disconnects. the disconnecting. I think the we character covered... being... I think, I think we got a majority. I think we covered everything with Overwatch, so let's go ahead and go try next topic. Destiny 2 and... um. The divinity nerf. I think the divinity should not have been touched. I think the divinity should not have been touched at all. Even three months ago when they said that they're going to do something about divinity, it should not. They should have just left it alone. There's no way. Like, I understand to make room for more other weakening things in the sandbox. But here's the thing, you do not remove something to make room for something else. You you just have that something in the first place. That's what I would argue. 
but I I don't know a fifty percent the uh less on the debuff for enemies is not going to be a huge deal breaker. I still think it's enough to be noticeable notice, noticeable in the DPS screens afterwards because yeah, I don't think. I don't think I'm gonna be able to break three mil with uh, War Priest with Div anymore. It's gonna come down to it will be better to be tethering and using grenades to weaken, or even tractor canning. Yeah, there's 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 ways. I can see why they did it, but at the same time, it may, that's gonna make it so much harder to Sherpa new players through these raids. Yeah, I've taken a group through it where there was a player or two players not even getting a million damage, even with Div. So that Div allowed all the other players to compensate. Mm-hmm. So it just, I had, that just talking, sounds like they needed to change their loadouts. Exams <laughs> now. What? They didn't have the guns, apparently. It's like... No, that's what I'm saying. That sounds like it's their problem. That's what I'm saying. Like, we had that art. Like, that's what I was saying. Like, no. in order for us to actually do it, Everybody else had to do more. And the only re- way to do more was with that extra damage. Yeah, with the 30% buff. It's just going to make it a whole lot harder because just that one person can drag you down so badly. Oh, absolutely. You're not going to be able to two phase things. You're going to have to three or four phase it now. So it's like I oh, could I mean, see it, yes, but at the same time, then there's like instances where uh, you don't need div at all. So. Those yeah. instances won't be affected. It'd be primarily like War Priest. Div mm-hmm. on War Priest is so noticeable in the damage. But Div on, say, uh, the Daughters, you can get away without Divving Daughters. Yeah. You can get away without Divving Golgoroth. It just Div on. War Priest makes that whole encounter so much more easier. Especially with him moving side to side like he does. That big ass bubble makes it so much easier to hit him. I I hate War Priest. I hate Golgoroth more though. Hates, I think everybody hates War Priest. Golgoroth is one of the easier encounters. It's just he is so buggy for no reason. And they'll never fix it either. I guarantee it. Oh, um, I just shot him in the back for 500,000? Three times? I still don't have gaze? What the hell? <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel they shouldn't have touched Dev. Brady, what's your thoughts? I don't like the nerf. I'm going to straight up say it. But there are many other ways to compensate for the div damage yeah. loss. Like it's... Tyler said himself, tractor cannon, tether, not to eat, eat, not to mention there are mods that make you do more damage. Yeah. See? So realistically, like... what more can we ask for? Like, yeah. it, the, like if we want to do damage, then we should have to optimize our loadouts. Okay. Like, yeah, Div Div makes it free. I like Div, but it's also like we have mods like Font of Might. That's I think another twenty percent damage bonus. We got High Energy Fire. That's another damage bonus. Like there are other ways to make up the damage, but also at the same time. It is a PvE game. If make the content harder, don't nerf us. Just right. make shit harder. Give them more health. Make them do more damage. Do something else. Don't nerf the player. It's and like to if you're having it issue... all off. Divinity has been out for almost four years untouched why why now why now because a certain keep is coming up on its fourth year of being out so i i that's what just doesn't that's where i'm just baffled 
I and the and not even and they want to do something about it. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's ten or twenty, but not even ten percent of the player base have divinity. Not even ten percent, or twenty. It's some decently no, low number, but most players don't even have divinity because it is locked behind a raid. Yeah, not even the raid just. A quest in the raid. A quest and in that the quest raid. Is a pain to do in more the ass. Bullshit. Yeah. Not only do you have to do the raid, you have to do the raid in one setting, and you have to go to all these little areas and do this bullshit. If you don't, yeah, and we fuck? and we know how bullshit that raid is. Mm -hmm. And without a divinity, that raid's. I don't know. Like I, I, like I. Can We've see done why, it without like, give, but. Yeah, and guess what? We lost an entire friend because of that. <laughs> it, it just, it, it, I, the, 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 the amount of I, the fact is, they just need to remove Garden, buff Div, <laughs> fuck this. This shit is absolutely yeah, yeah. fucking stupid. All because a streamer wants to cry about Div being used in every raid, every uh, master raid, all comp. It's like, but motherfucker, you used it. But you're gonna complain oh, about it because you oh. used it. I heard that, Brady. <laughs> no, my, my final thoughts. I I don't agree with the nerf, but I understand why. I oh. I know a lot of people would like to blame Salt, but according to a lot of He's people, dropping names. Well, like, that's what that's that's who everybody's blaming. It is. It's him. But he's I mean, the one that quarter, said something about it. He's the one that, that started but, the whole thing. If you go if you go to Twitter, DMG and Cosmo, they both said on Twitter that they had this nerf planned and coming. They didn't know when, but it's apparently been planned even before Salt said anything allegedly. No, they're just trying to take but the I'm, heat off I'm assault. not gonna. I'm not gonna point fingers. Just yeah, they don't want it all to be harassed. I don't, I, I don't agree. I don't agree with it, but I understand why. You, you're, I, we're just gonna have to optimize better. I, I, I take just don't fifteen percent. So I don't agree with a PVE game nerfing the player to make the content harder. Yeah. Just make the content harder. Mm -hmm. It comes down to let's say orcs with. My role on uh, the Tapian, I get 100,000 a shot. If it was a div bubble, I could be getting 130,000. So now I'm only going to be getting 115. So it's not technically that big of a nerf, but at the same time, it's... I mean, the 15% is a lot. Yeah, yeah there's no shit. The 15% it's like I, is a lot. I mean, to I put that in like perspective... 22 rounds and a Tapian, and I can get off almost every 20, all 22 rounds in one DPS phase. So that's 15 times 22 damage I'm no longer getting. I mean, to put it in that's perspective for lot. percentages, um, something I found out uh, about double tap, this is off topic, but just to put it in perspective for percentages, the fire rate on double tap isn't 100% double fire rate. It's only 33%. So, so people, the people don't understand. Like, you actually have to like, look at those percentages. percentages look them up. Yeah, percentages are. I I think anything above ten percent is a huge buff or de like increase or decrease. Anything above ten percent, mm -hmm. anything. Yeah, yeah, it's like five. Five I can accept, but like depending on like what it is, like say it's five now, you upgrade it again later or something like that. Ten, like that that that's worth it. Like yeah. anything. That's just an immediate 10% up or down. That's massive. All right, so as far as Div goes, uh, some of the discussions I've seen on them nerfing it, one of the discussions was make the Div bubble smaller. It's like they should have gone with that route. Yeah. That would have been a yeah. cleaner route to go with, piss less people off. It would have been more precision aiming instead of just... You don't have to aim, just pull your trigger. It'd been actually aim at the bubble. Or after uh, the I've bubble gets hit so many times, it bursts and you have to rebubble. I've seen that one. 
I've seen one where they wanted the bubble just completely taken away, and you just get that damage buff for diving. I've seen where they I wanted the damage I, I buff taken away, but you just get the bubble, and you can just tractor cannon or tether and get that damage bubble, damage buff, and you'd be able to hit the div bubble for that damage buff. I've seen so many different ways, but it's like it sucks they did the fifteen. But as far as nerfs go, it was a more cleaner nerf than what a lot of people were asking for. Look at it lightly. We still have a fifteen. We still have a free fifteen percent damage increase. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There are other ways to get thirty percent, but I mean, you throw a fucking yeah. smoke. It's a, it it could. I it can't remember been worse. But it's, it. I don't agree. The highest damn. The highest uh, debuff is the one that takes effect, right? No. I because... thought it was that. No, because no, I don't know exactly how it does. It, it it depends on what type of debuff. Because I don't know no, how to like explain. Because the tractor and then, cannon yeah. and the tether are world debuffs. Or I think yeah. is what the term is. Because, because cause if, you, cause if you're diving and say, I tether... My tether's gonna take over from the div. So there's no point to use div anymore. Because I'm overpowering it. And I know with weakened grenades, because I know weakened grenades are weaker than div, but if you weakening grenade, the weakening nade's gonna take over the div even though the div is thirty percent. So it, it has to do with what type of debuff they are. But and I don't know the full differences between each and every yeah, I don't. I I think we're gonna have to wait till we see the full patch note. Is the full patch note out yet? Yeah. Uh, the yeah, the twelb. Okay. But it's not. It, it won't be implemented until next season. Oh. Uh, I think is what it was. Well, everyone's complaining right now. You fucking use what you can of it. What the hell? Right. Like everyone's we still have an entire like forty days. Pissing, pooping their pants is and like. Thing like this is gonna be the worst thing to get. This is gonna happen to the game. Like use it while it lasts, you know. Like have fun. Not like in, like we use it while we have it. I don't know. Div, I agree. We still div, have it. Div is absolutely a valid role in DPS, and. To touch it after so long it hasn't been touched is pretty baffling. Um, so another thing I have down for Destiny 2 is the seasonal story. Um, from my understanding from the seasonal story is that we have been going on these treasure hunts to get these artifacts that are filled with darkness and nothing's happening to them. We're just collecting them. Yeah, I'm I'm honestly not gonna I'm not gonna let you I really have no idea what's happening. Yeah, I, I really I really don't. Like I thought we were after Aramis, but I guess we're also after yeah these darkness relics. And some other people are after them for some reason or another. Yeah, the Lucent Hive. So, from my understanding is, we're trying to stop Aramis from getting all these relics. So, as we're going for the relics where we're learning what they are, it turns out it's a dead wi- uh, disciple of the Witness that's died a long time yeah. ago. That apparently... Yeah, Nazarak. That apparently Drifter Mithra- Mithrax... Uh, knew about um and now the lucent hive are coming in also wanting the relics to make themselves stronger so they're also going to be fighting aramis so you got the dark side already fighting each other killing each other so it's from my understanding of the way i'm looking at it is i think aramis is going to come to the light side at some point 
because of this all going on. I don't. I don't know about I that. I don't see that happening. Like, I got, see you got Ido trying to bridge the differences. Well, yeah, because and... all Ido understands is is light and peace. That, yeah. That's how Mithra is taught. Her. But also, Ido is going to Aramis's beliefs, her deep beliefs and traditions and all that, and she is actually putting in a decent bridge from the looks of it. So I don't it, know, like, based off of what happened last week, Aramis was like, yo, if I ever see your freaking ugly mug again, you and Mithrax are fucking on site. That's literally what she said. Week. It, and then we have, we have one more uh, week. I, I see Aramis going to the disciple, not the disciple, the, the witness, and becoming something of the witness. Like how Callus became the Herald? Yeah. Or whatever happened with him? Something? That she'll become uh, the something of. Like the witness is she's building. Gonna get, she's she's going to. She's going to get stasis powers because the witness is going to be like, huh, you've used stasis, I see. Snap his fucking fingers and she has stasis. Yeah. It's like we already uh, know Callus is the new disciple. No, he's the herald. I swear he's going to become the disciple. In the he he the became DLC. something in the, in, the, in the last mission. He was already. He, he was like the herald. Because I think yeah, like, he, they're all technically like a, like a disciple, but they all have their own specific titles. Because Ralk was a disciple of the witness. Callus isn't necessarily a disciple. But he's, we know how Callus is. He's, he's always worked behind other people type shit. He's, he's like the brain. Yeah. Which is why I'm like, I think he's the Herald. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't think we're going to be much of fighting Callus, but it's going to be that boy we've always seen where it's like the giant spirit head. That's Callus and not actually him. For some reason, all the robots and the spirits and well, yeah, I don't. He's not gonna have those robots. Yeah, it's anymore. no matter how many times you Leviathan. go after the dude, it's not what it seems. He's always one step ahead of you. Like he's always played with the guardian. Yeah, because he looked up to us. He wanted the he wanted us to go to battle with him against the witness at that. Originally, yeah, so he, he looked up to us. But then I don't, I don't, I'm not a hundred percent sure on what happened. But then all this happened, and he's like, "No." So, from my understanding, is he wanted to commune with the darkness, to meet the darkness, and when he communed with it, everything went to hell and back. All of his uh, loyalists. We're starting to get killed, corrupted. A lot of them left him there because they were gonna die. So God, I'm running the almost room, so I might cut out a little bit. Pretty much everybody left on the Leviathan were clones. Yeah, like there were no actual cabal on the Leviathan. They were all clones. That's the you could say the same for the Glycon uh, back back then because those. Those scorn we seen except for that box, they were all dead. Those were dead scorn that we fought and killed again. Yep. There was only one life sign on the entire thing. It the darkness is getting more powerful. A lot more powerful. And it's getting in a lot more abilities than originally. It's like we're gonna have a whole new enemy archetype next season. Not next season, next DLC. It's two seasons. I mean, to put it lightly, dog, we've been losing this fight since this game came out. To put this lightly, we've been losing. I mean, yeah, we stopped Gaul, but he proved his point. Other things can just steal light. Then, yeah. whether that's, uh, we're getting We're getting off topic. We're getting into story. We're... We're talking I mean, about the nerf and all that shit. And well, no, actually, what it was talking about how we were talking about this seasonal story. So we were kind of on topic, but uh, yeah, it's 
but no, we, we've been losing this fight from the beginning. Yeah. <sighs> Pretty much. Yeah, hey. no, this... This season, kind of meh. Yeah. Not too I've... much to do gameplay-wise, either, which is pretty unfortunate. Nothing's worth the grind. King's Fall is cool. King's Fall is very it's cool. Grindy as but... hell, especially for the title of this season. Oh, you gotta kill ruffians. By the way, ruffians have like a 2% chance of spawning. Because if you have people in it that are Russian, they won't spawn. No, Mind you. I wanted to make a joke, but I can't. Mind you, you also have to uh, kill probably about 50 ruffians for the title. Eh. It's enough. Too much. Considering I don't even have 25 yet. Felt. Like, you have to have all three people in there and willing to, instead of the bank, sit have. there. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and move us on to the last topic for today. And, uh, that is Halo... Uh, it's state right now and looking forward to the winter update that's coming in November. Green wall! Yeah! Yeah, we we, uh, we also have HGS coming. We also have HGS coming um, uh, the second to last week. I think the 24th is Worlds. So... And I think they've sold a large amount of tickets already, which is wild. Uh, it still shows that people are still interested in Halo, which is good. Even after, fuck, I dropped my fidget. Uh, uh, after everything has been said and done with Halo Infinite, I think it's pretty cool that uh, because they they broke like a hundred thousand. They were like the fifth most viewed game on Twitch uh, when they streamed uh, the Orlando Major. So it's very obvious that people are still interested in Halo to some capacity. Um, it's gonna come the, down to fan base. Like you can still be a fan of it, but not play it. It. The game itself is just dying. Like, they are not putting out the content that they're being asked to put out. They're not putting out the content they said they're going to put out. It. Well, there's a reason for that, though. So, like, uh, there's, a, there's a lot wrong with the engine right now. Um, and the rumor on the street is uh, everything is getting moved to Unreal Engine 5 is the rumor. Um, nothing's been confirmed yet, but that is what people have been leaking from the inside. Um, so I don't know if Halo is going to feel exactly like Halo if they do do that. Um, but like that's, that's some other stuff that is like spectac uh, speculating and, um. Hell, even their 343 is dying. They can't keep people employed. Right. Um, that is a that is another issue. Uh is that it's a jump ship mentality. Um a lot of people are leaving three four three and there's a hiring freeze at Microsoft so nobody can actually get hired right now. Um because of Microsoft. Uh it's just overall just like Halo's not in the best place, but it looks like HCS is really striving to uh keep HCS it uh, keep it alive until the winter update, which is what we need. Um because if I'm correct, we have the winter update, the uh the twenty first to the twenty fourth and um let's see and then we have that and then we have like two weeks until uh the winter update so it's not long after that 
Um, the one thing I am upset that we haven't seen more of is the customization hasn't opened up more. Um, we were able to put every visor on every core now, but other than that, nothing else has happened. And we're just kind of sitting here twiddling our thumbs, just figuring out what happened. And um, waiting for them to keep promises that they're not going to keep. Well, they they have well, to go through. Leaves or gets fired. Um, that's the thing is with that they have to go through and redo everything piece by piece with because of how they built the customization. So they just oh, made. Where's the co-op campaign that was supposed to be released day one? No one said it was going to be released day one. It should have been. I mean, it should have been, but no one said it was. It's been, what, almost a year since that game came out? Over a year? I mean, almost. yeah. And, and they still don't have all their functions out. Came out. They should have pushed that entire no, what, game back to 2020. What, what did I say the other day? Halo's been out almost a year, but yet nothing in Halo that makes Halo is in the game. They they should have pushed it back to 2024. I mean, they Stop they should have. Developers that put games out. I mean, I blame Microsoft, money. man. I blame Microsoft. I blame the player base. No, they want to cry every time a game gets pushed back, but it's like <laughs> there's a reason it was pushed back. Just, it's just like it's just in this shit spot and um there's nothing anyone can actually do about it except for sit here and wait and wonder what the next thing is going to be because like yeah we're going to get match xp and we're going to get two new maps and we're going to get forage but who says people want to make forged. maps? Well, well, we are going to get forged. They like it's done. It's done. Like, what do they say? Like they're already putting out these videos promoting forage. They're not going to delay forage for absolutely no reason. It's it's done. There's people but those making maps. Are from Halo and, 4, Tony? They're not from That'd Halo be messed 4. up. That'd be messed up. They're not from Halo 4. No, that'd be messed up if it was. But, um... But, yeah, like, overall, uh... Halo's just in a rough spot. And, been in a uh, rough spot since launch, and it's... It's crawling along, trying to get to where it needs to be. Well, like, there's supposed to be a Battle Royale coming out for it next year, and that... It just seemingly got delayed because everything's moving to the Unreal Engine. I got a great idea. How about they not? We got too many battle royales as is. I mean, People yeah. People are spending too much time on battle royales and then the actual game itself sucks. That's the move, man. It's battle royales. Nah, that's the move for cheaters galore. I don't know. Um, it would be interesting to see Halo with a battle royale. I don't know if it'll be good. Because you'll just be walking down the freaking uh, canyon or something and someone snipes you and it's like, oh, you're dead. What are you going to do? You're down. You know what I'm saying, like, there's no fathomable way I could see it being a battle royale. Like, they'd have to buff the shields ridiculously. <laughs> you wouldn't have rarity on weapons. It's. And Call of Duty is Call of Duty of because of the attachments. Right you got Apex because of its rarity, Fortnite, its rarity. It. I wouldn't even say Apex is rarity. I would say the gunplay. 
They've That's what I'm saying, play. though, is you got your different rarity in guns. Well, I mean, not even that necessarily. No, there, no, there's not. There's no different rarity in the guns. What? The attachments and all that. That's that's not the gun. That's an attachment. I'll give you that. But it's like some attachments make or break a gun. Yeah. I mean, yes, but not necessarily in Apex. In Call of Duty, absolutely. In Apex, not necessarily. And you can yeah. make do with a gun with absolutely no attachments. Call of Duty, and you have to have the build. Yeah, and then it's like, all these Battle Royales, you're redoing your shields. How will shields work in Halo? Um, well, I mean, you I can't can think... start with no shields because if someone gets a pistol, one you're just dead. Yeah, you're you're just dead. It's team SWAT at that point. Yeah, and then if you just lose your shield and have to take cover now, you have to literally sit there for like thirty seconds to get it back. Because if you barely right. even peek, you're gonna get reset on your progress. It. I just do not see them coming out with a decent battle royale. Like they. Ha would ha have to envision something that is not Halo to come out with it. It'll definitely be interesting to see what they do with it. Um, and see how they're, they're going to make it work. Because there's rumors that we're going to be dropping out of our frigate to start out the matches. And we're going to be dropping from ODST pods and stuff like that. Like, it sounds so cool. But, like, the thing is, they have to get it out and um, do these things. It's going to come down to, basically, Destiny Battle Royale. Just set guns. Is what I feel like it would come up to. I mean, I don't if know. You get, if you lose your shield to another player, you're going to get screwed. Like, there's... I just... The shield part is what's going to get me so bad in that game. Yeah. And heaven forbid if we start with grenades. <laughs> That's... Battle Royale... With all the grenades you can get, like the camos, over shields, over shields, energy swords, grav hammers. You're gonna hits. have to use uh, energy weapons and then use vehicles. Weapons. It's gonna just be nothing but splattered. You're gonna have like two people on your team carrying kinetics. The other two people doing energy. You'd have your two energy break their shields so your kinetics will finish them. You'll, it's just going to be a team fire mess. Who can out team shot the other team? That's every game. That's every game. That's Halo now. I know, but that's what that's I'm just... saying. It's just going to become worse. Because now, not only is it this team against that team, it's going to be a crap ton of teams doing it. So you're getting shot at by one team. Oh, third party. Oh, here's another fourth party. Here's a fifth. Here's a sixth. Oh, shit. It's the entire fucking lobby. This isn't Apex now. This is Halo. What? Battle Royales don't do that? Not to that extent. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you might get third party, but you're not going to get like fourth, fifth, and sixth. Like in Apex. Uh, it happened to us how many times in Fortnite? Not four, just five, all and six. Yeah, just all of a sudden, it's like the whole lobby's right there. Like, excuse me? Yeah, but at that point, everybody's fighting each other. They're not solely focusing us. I mean, yeah, there's been times where we've gotten solely focused, but not by everyone. And, uh... Yeah, that's why you just, you just don't Naraka. need shots. Oh, well, no, Rock is different. <laughs> It's still a battle royale. I missed it on game. the scale. It's on the scale and movement of everything else. You can also completely heal instantly, damn near. You can disarm your enemies. Yeah. They don't raise the fathom with it in Naraka. Yeah, there's so but much yeah. fighting in Naraka, but it's like if 
you finish one group and there's already another group coming at you. You're getting it, converged on. Yeah, as soon as that fighting starts, everybody's coming for you. They're like, I want piece of the act. I, I don't understand how the campaign to that game worked either, but that's that's a completely different subject. Yeah, we technically have not even tried a campaign yet. Supposedly yeah, released, my, but we never my, got on. Yeah, because yeah, because to my knowledge, it, all it was was a battle royale, and you did some shit in the battle royale. That's that was to my understanding. Yeah, I didn't even get that far. I know they're on a new season now. I think they're on a whole new map and two whole new characters. Nice. Jesus Christ. I definitely know there was at least a new character announced because that came out with the campaign. But besides the point, back to Halo, back to Halo. But, um, yep, I I just hope that uh, Halo just gets hopefully better. This year's better. Yeah. So hopefully this is a better year. Can't wait for that uh, 20 gigabyte update in the winter for Halo. Hey, I, I might well be because of Forge. Like, go up to 80 gigabytes. It's okay, it hasn't reached Call of Duty levels yet. You want to install a Call of Duty game? All right, you need to install these three games first. It's just like, I'm so excited for Forge. I have literal dreams. About getting on my fucking Xbox, launching Forage, and just going to town. I have literal dreams when I sleep at night about Forage. It's ridiculous. You saying that just opens up my brain to Halo Reach when people would make naked anime women out of guns. That, that, that that's that's all I heard you say to me just now. That no, that's not the same thing. Like <laughs> yeah, that's all I heard you say to me. I have dreams, and I go to town in Forge. No, uh, that, that's all. You, that's, you know, that's all you just said to me. <laughs> no, I'm like actually making maps and stuff. Oh, like... I know, but just how you worded that, I'm just like, this man is gonna make anime waifus out of the guns. I'm just, I'm just excited for Forge. I've been waiting for so long. It should have came out in September, and then it got it delayed. Been there day one. It should have been there day one. Should have came yeah. out in September. Game should have came out in 2024. Day one. It was it was in August, and then they nothing was said. Yeah, 2024 release game late. Forget releasing them early. Yeah, why forget? Uh, we we had we had to release the game because it was the twentieth anniversary of Halo. We cannot do anything for the twentieth anniversary of Halo. If we didn't do that, we wouldn't get the sales. We wouldn't get the bullshit. It's a free to play game. Half the people played it on Game Pass. You want to do something for the twentieth anniversary? Put this big ass fucking week long event in fucking Halo Five. No where you get to play that game. Where, MCC. Where you get some, well, right, MCC, MCC even. Yeah, just all the Halo games have this week-long event that gives you this ridiculously awesome gear. Something they've never done before type of gear. Master Chief's literal fucking armor. No. Anime-styled armor. They did Gundam. No, not Gundam. Anime waifus. Uh, how would that work for armor? I don't know. <laughs> Painted or something. Alright. I think we had a good time talking to each other. Um, if, if there's any topics you would like us to talk about, uh, go ahead and put them down in the comments below. Uh... I hope uh, you guys enjoyed hearing us talk for this past hour and probably 20 minutes. Uh, Brady, any final thoughts? Yeah. Hopefully no? this year is a better year for Halo. I hope 
I hope Lightfall is going to be good for Destiny. I hope Overwatch gets better. Tyler, what about you? Make sure to join us next week where we talk about Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk? Oh boy. Uh, I don't have too much information on Cyberpunk. Uh, I right. was good. I, I, I don't know. That's why I said next week. But, uh, Watch the anime. Play the game. Alright, I'll Long see you guys on the next mission. Reaming out. Bye bye. See you guys.